A four-month research conducted on 30 farms in Chiruhura and Chegego districts reveals that 68% of farms that reported ticks attack had all acaricides resisted. You know, every disease has its own approach. Every pest has its own approach. What we do, we draw up a plan individually for every disease and every pest. But then the usual common things which must all be done is to have enough manpower, to have enough mobility, to have enough laboratories. Once you put those together, you have put a foundation for disease control. About 1,600 in the next one month, you will see adverts. These are going to help us explain to the farmers on how these drugs should be. The resistance has been attributed to use of wrong insecticides and mismanagement of chemicals calling for effective zoning. So we are going to zone according to regions. To start with and as the farmers have said they are going to work amongst themselves to start zoning in their own areas using the same acaricides and seeing how that works how come that for instance when we have the wild dogs that want to kill them we use it to give them acaricide mix it in the meat and give it to the dogs and they die but today, even if you give it to the dogs, the conk and dogs will not die. Does that mean that you have poorly mixed the, that acaricide in the meat? But please don't use everything. Even your managers, tell them if one has failed, don't let them just keep mixing. And even adding the same drug and making it stronger and stronger, that can't work. Farmers are also concerned by the informal sector with which they seek guidance on livestock issues. It, it perturbs my thinking, why should every Ugandan, qualified or not qualified, procure those drugs from whatever destination and is not regulated? So this is the work of National Drug Authority. Don't just allow them to import correct drugs, but follow them up and see the shops where they are being sold. 70% of the personnel that were managing uh, uh, drug shops, they were non-professional people. And imagine these are the people you run to for professional advice. We are going to look at whether we can have veterinary stores, national veterinary stores, like we have the national drug stores and see whether we can have these drug, drugs stamped. A stamp to show that these have been checked and they are correct drugs. But if ticks are resistant to drugs, then how effective shall government withdraw such chemicals from the market? Really, the drugs are not that fake. The problem is misuse mainly. We wish to be educated on the misuse of drugs. And those that have turned out to be fake, the synthetic ones, which I thought were fake and I was about to say, let's have them out of the market. They have taken them to the east and north and they have worked. So really, it is how we use the drugs. Many cows have died in various parts of the country, although there is no data to establish the number of cows that have died. Ivan Kahua and Cosmos Banonia, UBC News.